Hey guys, and thank you so much for watching my videos. Now, I'm super excited for this video. This is an updated stockpile tour for 2020. Now, um, I did start pre-recording this video um, prior to the coronavirus. So some of the items you're going to see in my stockpile, I've already depleted a lot of it since the coronavirus hit. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I do extreme coupon. I've been an extreme couponer now for eight years. I also clearance hunt and I love the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent only store. Now I do run a nonprofit. So 98% of the items you're going to see in my stockpile will be going to donate or for certain events I threw do throughout the year. So every year I have two toy drives that I do now. I have one big giant one called the Popeye Toy Run. It'll be our 13th year doing it. And we do that every single year in Long Beach, California. And then I also do another toy drive in Hemet, California. We did that last year and we're going to do it again this year. On top of that, I also donate quite a bit to different charities that are running low on toys or whatever that may be. So I, you are gonna see quite a bit of toys. Um, you're gonna see quite a bit of school supplies because I do do a back to school drive every single year as well. And then all the other stuff, I do different events throughout the year. I you know, help shelters and homeless. And so you're gonna see all the items that I either coupon for or I get super cheap to use throughout the year for my certain events that I do for my nonprofit. So I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> That's the number one question I get when I do these tours. I'm not a hoarder. I do run a nonprofit. So in order for me to save as much money and help as many people, I try my best to clearance hunt and coupon so I can give even more back to my community. So don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so you never miss an episode. I'm not sure when you're going to be watching this. If you are watching it now, I do have an extreme coupon kit up for grabs. If you um, would like to enter for that, that'll be in the description box. If you missed that extreme coupon kit and you're watching it way after, don't worry, I do give away an extreme coupon kit every single month and I do a lot of giveaways on my channel so you definitely wanna hit that notification bell and subscribe so you never miss an episode or a giveaway. So let's go ahead and get started. So I thought we would go ahead and go over my stockpile and do an updated stockpile tour since I've been switching stuff around. So this is the side of my patio. I have my little Easter decor here. Um, over here is um, all of my like Febreze air fresheners. I have some finished back there. I gave the other two away already, but it does go all the way in the back. And what I do is all the new ones are in the back and then all the old ones are in the front. So that's how I rotate my stock. A lot of my stockpile, I would say 98% of it goes to donate. So this is all like air fresheners. These are all cleaners and hand soaps. Um, do I have any? I have Bath and Body Works back there, and then it's just like all pine saw and cleaners. And then right here are all of like my soaps and spray cleaners. And then down here are majority of donate items, um, Kleenex, a lot of laundry soap that I'm going to be giving away. And then we'll start on this side. You can see this is all of my paper products now I usually don't donate paper products but since we've been getting amazing deals I've been donating some of them um, I have my paper towels all the way at the top I do have a couple of Charmin that did not fit in the area where I have so that is all of my paper products mostly paper towels right here are a lot of the toilet paper now we are very brand loyal on specific toilet paper so a lot of this will be gone we don't use the Scott we're not going to use the home complete the diapers are for a friend that has a uh, baby and a toddler he's a grandpa so um these are for his firstborn grandchild and then these are for his um twins he has two twins and then i have Charmin back here and then the toilet paper <laughs> it's so tightly compart uh, in in here i have some um baby lotion for him and yeah so it's all whew, these are big see if I can get this one out here we go all back here is more toilet paper that well um, we only use the Charmin so everything else will be either given to Amanda what she can't use we will donate so yeah this is our toilet paper stockpile so that's all toilet tissue now over here is all of my laundry detergent now it's we're just a family of three Amanda does come and she likes to use the pods um, the pods I usually save for her like the Tide and the Gain. The rest like the All and the um, Purex will go to donate. I keep all of the um, bounce dryer sheets because you guys know it's hard to get a great deal on that. The Priscilla will go to donate. I keep all of my Tide 
and I keep all of the um, Purex crystals and um, downy unstoppables, the bleach of course, but everything else like the persil and all that'll be all donated. Um, these is my trash can stock. Um, liners for the trash cans for kitchen and for the little trash cans we have and those are all from Walgreens. Um, down here are the shampoo, conditioners, facial products, and lotions. Um, hair dyes I am saving for the Battered Women's Domestic Violence Shelter. Um, the ones I don't use, I am a, I use the 5M and the 4R um, and the 3.5R, but the rest um, back there can go to donate. And then these are some of the hair products that I love to use or I've been trying out. Um, whatever I don't use in a couple of months, I'll go ahead and donate. Now, a lot of these creams I cannot use, so I use them for charity gift baskets. Um, Cetaphil is basically the only product I can use on my skin because I have very sensitive skin as well as Nivea and Eucerin but it's just me so a lot of these will be put in charity gift baskets as well as the Olay um, a lot of body wash and shampoo and conditioner that I enjoy using whatever I don't use guys definitely goes to donate so down here is basically donating um, Ajax laundry detergent that we picked up at Walgreens super duper cheap my husband's coffee which we go through super fast this does not even stay in here that long um, it was completely full now my stock is dwindling down but um, he goes through coffee so fast because he drinks it the trust will go to donate um, panty liners that we get for free are super cheap bunch of tampons this is basically for Amanda I have a bunch of poise that I think I'm gonna drop off at a senior center and then deodorants that either Amanda uses whatever she doesn't use and whatever I don't use we use for donate now my husband's very particular about his de uh, um, deodorant so all of the men deodorant will be going to donate okay let's go ahead and continue on the other Here side more paper products that's more paper towels this container right here is full of um, tissue paper and gift boxes and gift bags that I use throughout the year. This is a um, little basket that I got at the Dollar Tree and I have all of our medication that we get for free or super cheap. Um, this is my bath bomb collection, guys. I know I don't even take baths, but I do use them for your guys' giveaways. I also use them for raffle gifts and charity gift baskets. So these are full of bath bombs these are full of bath bombs and they're bath bombs from like victoria's secret dollar tree clearance vines things like that um dollar general now so i have bath bombs there bath bombs here bath bombs here and then back there is contact solution i need to drop off to my mom and then i also have um mouthwash that um, I use I do use the scope I don't use the Colgate but if I get it for free or super cheap I will use it for donate and then back here is all of my toothpaste so it goes all the way back there that's all toothpaste and then this small section right here is all of like the Glade warmers that we don't use in the house so I'll have to figure out a use for them or donate them now over here is all of the Pantene now the Pantene is organized by the newest is in the in the front and then the oldest is in the back so um, I usually pull from the back and then push it up to the front I know I'm weird I, I kind of messed up I should have put the oldest in the front and the newest in the back but I messed up so that that's just in my own memory so I did this one wrong but I did this one right so this one is organized by the oldest in the front and newest in the back and this is all the tresemme we don't use we'll go to donate i'm keeping the l'oreal ever pure um because my neighbor and myself we like to use it the l'oreal l vive same thing we will donate this i do not use this product nor my husband and let's look at the bottom the bottom, bottom half. half shelf um i don't recommend buying these shelves first of all um these are the plastic shelves that you can get like at home depot you can get them at target and they're relatively inexpensive probably less than fifty dollars but they do bow so you can't put heavy items like detergent on there um, I would recommend it for like paper products and stuff that's light but heavier items I would not recommend it because you're gonna the plastic is gonna bow so um, down here is body wash that my husband does not use so these will all go to donate a bunch of Irish spring we have some women's left but like I said I use them every single month for my speaking engagements, so I'm running really low on them I also have a ton of bar soap and that is what my husband loves to use and I, whatever he doesn't use I will donate I also have um, the suave I'll keep for myself because I use hairspray in my hair but all these other shampoo and conditioners like miscellaneous dove men and women as well as the herbal essence and some suave back there these will all be put to donate so yeah that's everything on this side of my sock pile let's go ahead and take a look at the other okay, side guys, so we are on the other side right from here to here of my stockpile now um, down here 
I have a bunch of different items. So in here are all of my face wipes and I got this container at the Dollar Tree. And then here is just some miscellaneous items for hair. We got some sinus smoothers, um, some facial care stuff, um, sunblock, bunch of the Bliss products. So that's what's in here. Over here is all of my um, macaroon lip uh, little lip balms that I got at the 99 and then all of the Tsum Tsums that I was I kept getting for you no know, some apparent reason I have no idea but a lot of dupes so I'll be giving some of these away in a future giveaway but yeah I have a lot of dupes um, a lot of different star ones will be mine but a lot of different ones there and then down here is just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. These bags I use for my um, speaking engagements. I give them little goodie bags, a bunch of hauls here, some Perel and um, gum. We have like miscellaneous hair stuff here. Um, just a bunch of little miscellaneous stuff. And here are just like, you know, like little um, sponges, some nail kits. Um, what else is in here? Some face kits, just like little things like that. Um, eyelash curlers back here are all of my rubber bands and um, nail kits things like that in here are all of um, like baby wipes and wet mop cloths that I have not used because I need to research them a little bit further to make sure they're okay for my dogs and um, we don't have a lot of um, surfaces like our house is mostly carpet but there are a couple of rooms that have wooden floors so if it's okay, I'll use them. I have not done that yet, researched it. So that's everything here. Right here is my raffle drum and my <laughs> my loudspeaker. Even though I'm loud, um, sometimes they can't hear me over the crowd, so I take a loudspeaker with them. And the in this little container here is some sweet tea, some cleaner. Um, in here is all of the little pegs for my pegboard. Back there is a um, three hole punch as well as a paper cutter that I never use. I have another paper cutter here, my bucket with my mop in it, and then I have my water supply here, and then 7-Up sodas, an ironing board, some wrapping paper. This is all of like my shipping tape for your guys' packages. Over here are empty um, bottles from the Dollar Tree and Daiso. We use these for the homeless. When we do our homeless runs, we fill these up with shampoo and conditioner and body wash little decor piece and then the little um, zero calorie like little filler uppers for the water. So I have some spares here, some Kleenex and some scissors to open those with because I always mess them up. In here is our mini fridge where we keep all of our like extra water. We have like some maybe one or two beers. I think those are Amanda's and just like some Red Bulls and some Coke in case somebody wants it. And then over here is my peg board, which I love. So at the top is all of my razors. And then I have like face wipes. And then I have a bunch of the wax melts, lip glosses, um, Q-tips and some socks, just miscellaneous, a lot of mascara, um, the ready tabs, toothbrushes. And yeah, mascara, some pens and just in case, some of those um, jade bar rollers. And then over here is all of like the makeup. So these are all samples. You can hear Daisy in the background. These are all little eyeshadows, the Lori, um, the Reblon ones we've been getting a lot for free. And what are these? These are blushes from Wet n Wild that I like to use. And then these are a lot, if I can get them out, of the little Revlon quads we get for free at CVS and Walgreens. And then these are all the Rimmel ones, if I can, yeah. A lot of Rimmel, uh, little Rimmel palettes. These, this container I actually got at Daiso. And um, these have lipsticks in it. And then eyeliners and more lipsticks. Right here are just some small samples of Aquaphor. A bunch of the eye makeup remover from Physicians Formula. Um, masks that I like to put in your guys' giveaway. And then setting sprays and some extra li um, liquid makeup. And some Revlon, what are these? These are the color correcting. I've not used those. And then these are the brush cleaners that I add to your guys' giveaway. Now, I do have more masks. Where are the other masks? Oh, the other masks are all right here, hanging up in the pegboard. Those ones don't have the little things, so I can't hang them up. And then over here is um, nail polishes. Then we have a bunch of different eyeshadow stuff that I use for um, beauty baskets and stuff like that. And then in here are a bunch of different makeups I have not had an opportunity to use, like spares and stuff. 
And then these are little eyeshadow quads that I picked up at Walgreens, no, no, Rite Aid at 90% or 70%, one of the two. And then some more eyeshadows, um, Almé, some more lipsticks, and then all of the little Maybelline ones we've been getting for free a lot lately. And then up here are some highlighter palettes that match this. And then over here are some contour kits. We have some eyeshadow palettes here that I add to your guys' giveaway and to um, beauty baskets. So yeah, that's everything on this corner, guys. So this is the next section we're gonna go over in my stockpile. Now this is kind of messy. I'm still working on um, fixing it up, but up here is, sorry about my finger, are the printers for your guys' giveaway. So there's a couple of coupon books, there's a tablet, it looks like this is winning um, for the giveaway. So it, I don't know if this video is gonna be posted before the giveaway or after, but I'm probably gonna give away a tablet and do a blue themed type coupon kits. I have some of those bags and then at the very top there is a laptop. So the laptop will be given away at the end of the year. And then right here are just some socks for you know different occasions, mostly Christmas socks for next year, or this year actually, end of this year. And then I have some aerospace socks left and some regular socks for like gifts. I have some little decor pieces that I have not used yet. And then in here are a bunch of books and we're gonna go over that right now. Over here is pretty much where I pull for your coupon kits. So in here are like notebooks. I actually need to pull these out because these are gonna go for the grandkids, but I got these at Dollar Tree, they're like little diaries. Um, so that's like all notebooks and uh, folders and just all kinds of various items. Same thing in here. A lot of the notebooks are from Dollar Tree, the 99 cent only store. Um, we have some from Daiso as well. And then I have a bunch of like planner stuff. I really need to organize all this. Um, I've basically just been putting stuff in here as I haul it. So um, one of these days when I have more time, I'll definitely organize it. It was organized at one time, but it just got out of control. Um, what are these? These are like little um, day planners. I, I really like them. I figured I'd do something for the summer with them. And they have a planner on them for the coupon kit. So I have some of those in there. Um, I have some folders. And then I have some like little decor here with my Darth Vader, my love, and girl boss. Um, over here are more notebooks. And then I use these for my speaking engagements. When we were able to speak, I would put them in their little goodie bags. So I have those. I have some Bible journals back here, some sticky notes, some Bible journals back there. And then these were donated by Marvel um, Comics. And I actually have a ton of these. I have like boxes of these that I'll be using um, when we do back to school or toy drive. Um, more notebooks, more notebooks. And then over here is just like the little accessories. I have a, a stapler, I have an extra pair of scissors, and I have like these little pom-poms and things like that that I like to add to the coupon books. Um, I have a decor piece that I need to figure out where I'm gonna put that. Over here are planners for you guys, like novelty pens. And then down here is back to school supplies. So let's see if I can pull this out, it's really heavy. But in here I have like pens and pencils and a ton of erasers. Um, I got these at Target when they were 90% last year. So what I do is I usually just put them in a container and then when I have my back to school drive, I pull from here, I do a count and I put them in their backpacks. So I like pens and pencils. Amanda was actually looking for glue sticks, so. I'll give her some of those um, note cards and then a ton of Dr. Seuss erasers. Um, we were getting these for like 10 cents and I have glue. I got pencils, I got rulers. So I'm pretty set for my back to school drive that I do every year. I'm pretty set for that. And I'll show you guys the rest of my back to school stuff because I have a ton of it. Um, right here is, this is empty. And then I have a ton of pencils for my back to school drive. And then that's like the little baseball card hurdles I use for your guys' um, coupon kits. I have some 
miscellaneous. These are just toothbrushes for donate. And then I have like little bag um, baskets that I use to make my gifts. We'll go on the other side and I'll show you guys the other side this right now. Like my gifting section that I use for when we have our raffles, when you know I pull stuff for you guys. I have a ton of slippers and just miscellaneous items I pull for for various events we do. Now, since of since Corona hit, I have not been able to like you know have events and do gift baskets and stuff like that so my stock is really full i have some victoria's secret slippers i have perfume sets if you guys saw my um cbs haul i think it was like two weeks ago they had these at i think 75 or 90 percent off um i have some bluetooth speakers i also have some of these um temporary fountain or contemporary fountains and i have quite a few of them back there these are all men cologne sets that i got um 90 percent off then I have women cologne sets. I have some city color collection stuff and some Victoria's Secret stuff. And let me move my um, step stool over so you guys can see the rest. Those are all brushes. So we're gonna look at that so right now. I do now. have like a weird obsession with um, facial brushes. So I have brushes back here and I usually use them for like charity gift baskets and I put them in your guys' giveaway. So I have a quite a bit back here. So that's everything on this row. And then let's look at this row. So this row is all brushes for you guys for giveaways and like makeup sponges, things like that. I have some wet and wild sets left and I have some more down there. I have some Bluetooth speakers, wireless speaker in here, are some Harley, um, Harley glasses that um, LA Harley donated for a bike night that I have not used yet. It's kind of, um, some Harley Davidson gear and stuff. So I'll be using that this year. I used a lot of it last year, but that's just the remaining of it. Hope I don't break it. So that's there. And then I have like more brushes that I use for your guys' giveaway. These are all the brushes that we were getting at the 99. So I have a ton of the face one um, cosmetic brushes and I'm gonna start emptying this out and giving you guys a bunch of them in my next giveaway. And then down here is like a lot of the wet and wild sets. I have a lot of perfume sets. Um, lotion sets, earbuds, some Bolero products, um, some intense powder brushes, a lot of the melt to weigh candies are in here. And then all those back there are all perfume sets. And that is a wet and wild set. So yeah, this is where I pull from for your guys' giveaway for charity gift baskets and stuff like that. So this row are these awesome tartan and twine, um, like little iPad holders. So I have quite a few of those left to buy a lot of them. A cosmetic organizer that I picked up at CVS super cheap. In here are just like little cleansing jellies and th miscellaneous stuff that I would get at Dollar Tree. So that goes in here. And I pull for there for charity gift baskets. Ton of masks still left. Magic of masking. Remember we got these super cheap at CVS. I got a ton of them left. Um, I still have some more perfume sets and I'm like debating what I'm going to do for 30K because I have some really nice items I want to give you guys but I'm hoping it'll all fit in the box. So um, down here are toys that did not fit in my toy section. So all of these are just basically toys and bath bombs and I have some little nail polish sets back here and it's just all like little toys for my back to school drive. I mean, no, for my toy drive, sorry. So I have a ton of games. I have a game, a game station and I have some Legos and some wireless stuff and then three wheel scooters so all that over here are some of like um the cast iron skillets i was using for the men's gifts i have a vera wang set that i was going to put in a giveaway but i'm just so i don't know what to do with that one and then over here are my boxes or, and baskets that i use for charity gift baskets now this row has like chargers um i love these I, this is my spare for my hair I have a wet and wild set i have a perfume set back there brush set and more earphones um what is in here in here is just miscellaneous stuff what's in here i have some nylons and tons of stickers a charcoal brush i didn't even know this was empty so i could totally use this i'm gonna send these to my sister-in-law i have some star wars i have a phone case it's just little miscellaneous stuff that I completely forgot about. So I got to go through that and put all this stuff away and use that. Now, this is where I carry all of my extra makeup bags that I pull for your guys' giveaways and stuff. So I have makeup bags from 
um, the 99. I have them from Dollar Tree. I have them from um, Target when they go on clearance. I have some from Daiso. So a lot of makeup bags in there. And then this is all makeup bags, guys. So a ton of Tartan and Twine, Target. This one's from Target. Um, just various makeup bags in here. Makeup, smaller makeup bags for your guys' giveaways or whatever I may put in there for charity gift baskets. And then more makeup bags. I have like a weird obsession with makeup bags. Makeup bags here more makeup bags and I have some of those wallets that we got at uh, Dollar General super cheap so it's pretty full I think these are Just Breathe um, this one was from CVS I have CVS Target um, 99 Dollar Tree and here are more makeup bags and wallets from CVS Target Dollar Tree <laughs> pretty and I have these more makeup bags and yeah that's everything on this side guys so let's go ahead and take a look at the other side so I'm just gonna walk over I'm gonna go ahead and show you Miss Daisy say hi Miss Fuentes so this is her cage like I said there's no lock on her cage so she's more than welcome to come in and out whenever she wants say hi are you gonna say hi hi She's not going to say hi. Okay, let's continue. This is basically my toy section. Um, I do have a toy drive that I do every single year. Um, and this is just a portion of the toys. The rest of the toys are in the garage. I have them basically um, in black plastic bags in the corner in the garage. My husband hates it, but we needed it. Um, last year we gave out about 1100 toys so I have one toy drive that I do that's always on the second Saturday in December and then I also have another toy drive I do that is in Hemet so I do that toy drive as well and then we donated a bunch of toys to people that didn't have enough toys um, toys for tots ran out of toys so um, I was contacted and I donated I think like 150 toys to them too so um, I have these are all from Rite Aid and then I have some mixture from Walgreens. I have some from CVS. Like I have these cute little um, Hello Kitty ice cube tray and sculpted ceramic mug. Um, I also have the Mickey self-stirring mug. I totally forgot I had that. It's really cute. Might use that for a birthday gift or something. And, you know, some light up toys and things like that. And it's just all the way back. Um, over here, we have some Bluetooth speakers. So I thought these were really cute and they'd be perfect for like a little bit of the older kids. Do have some Hello Kitty stuff here. And then these were all donated from the 99 cent only store. I did not use them all um, last year, so I'll be using them this year. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten. I think I have like 11 of them, but um, I have Peppa Pig. I have, these are the three wheel scooters. I have Disney Princesses, Paw Patrol, Frozen, Hot Wheels, Barbie. Yeah, so I have those. Um, right here are my little like I got these from Dollar Tree the manager let me take them but I ha I hang like these are all toys that I would be giving to Amanda for her Bible study and then I have some clothes for Penny that I picked up super cheap at the 99 um, after Halloween clearance I have some cr after Christmas clearance some socks on here some travel tags because I thought we would be using those when we went to Israel and then some more stuff for Amanda um, I have some picture frames and some poobie on and then over here are just a lot more toys so um, these are little junior cruisers I thought those were really cute I think I got those at Walgreens so I got the junior cruisers one in the Paw Patrol and one in the mini I have um, some squishimal stuff um, just some little miscellaneous toys the solar system the Disney cars so all this stuff will be gone um, I'd say December sometime like the whole month of December I'll pull it all out and we'll start donating them or we'll use them for our toy drive So over here I have a bunch of Hot Wheels and then I have like a box of Hot Wheels somewhere So we figured we do the toolkit truck and then give them a bunch of Hot Wheels to go with that I got those all at Walgreens um, A lot of this stuff came from Walgreens and Rite Aid. So these little playwright toys um, These all came from CVS these little got them super cheap I got these at Walmart it's funny how I can remember exactly where I got these I got these at Walmart on Black Friday so I have Barbies and then I saw these at 
CVS, so I picked them all up, little Happy Holiday Barbies. Um, these are just like little electronics for the older kids, like Pac-Man. Um, I do have some indoor um, bowling. I have this little set that I meant to send to my grand girls. I'm actually going to put that in their section. In here is a bunch of back to school stuff. So I have like pencil pouches. So every time somebody sends me stuff or gives me stuff to donate for the back to school drive, it goes in here until it gets full. And then I close it and then start to worry about it when it gets closer to my back to school drive. Um, I, there's that Hello Kitty blanket I just hauled. Um, in here is kind of like for the older kids. So I have um, a felt... Oh, I forgot I had this. This was 89 cents. The felt on board. These are all watches from CBS. And then I have like these Airman speakers. Um, I have some watches. I have that gift maze. A bunch of watches here. And then these I was going to use for Mother's Day gifts. And it says, this mom's off duty. Get it yourself. So I'll use these for Mother's Day gifts. I have some um, retro um, phone cases and then I have some picture frames back there. And then up there is even more toys for the kids. So that's everything in this section and this section is right next to Daisy's cage. So let's move on to this. I'm not going to open all of them guys because there's so much stuff in here. Okay. so. Um, these are, I like giving the kids craft bags when they go to my toy drive. So these are craft stuff for them. I also have books that I picked up at CVS. They're like little coloring books or uh, a, not adult books, but just coloring books or um, activity books for the kids for the toy drive. These are all the Marvel notebooks. So I have two boxes of those. Um, I have 24 pieces of the craft arts for that and that is from the 99 cent only store. A whole box of Tsum Tsums and then another box of Tsum Tsums right there. I have shoes and these are for the back to school drive for the kids. So I have a bunch of, I got these at Dollar General super cheap. So I have um, tennis shoes for the girls and then a whole package of lady shoes for the older girls. Now I'm still looking for men's shoes. Um, boy shoes. Hopefully I'll find a good deal. So let me get my step stool and I'll kind of show you guys what stuff is in here. It's ooh, there's a, it's mostly backpacks guys. I'm just going to be honest. So you can see right here. These are all backpacks for my back to school drive. So I have backpacks here. I have backpacks here. I also have this container is full of backpacks as well as this container is full of backpacks. This is stuff for my toy drive. It has bags. It has signage. It has everything I need. My stamps. Everything is in there. I believe this is bows and then these are backpacks and backpacks but we'll double check real fast i don't think it'll take me too long to pull those shoes out and show you what's in one of these things and if one container has it then the rest of the containers have it okay let me grab a set all backpacks um from the 99 cent only store when we had our shopping spree grabbed a ton of backpacks so i am set these have backpacks these have backpacks these have backpacks. These are all backpacks. So really excited about the toy. I mean, the back to school drive. Hopefully we'll have it this year. I, I just really hope we do. So um, yeah, so let me put these shoes back. I'm gonna show you guys what's on the floor because these are just donated to me. So I'll definitely share that with you guys. Um, let me get off the step stool and we'll Down open in. here. Are, these are awesome. These are Finding Dory lunch bags and I got 24 of them. Um, they're by Disney. And I was given to these by a company because they they were actually supposed to go to Disney, but the the writing is off. If you can see that, it's not exactly in the middle, so they could not use them. So they donated them to me. I got 24 of these for my back to school drive, so the kids can have a lunch bag and a backpack with a bunch of supplies in it. Those are some extra folders for my back to school drive. This is for the homeless. Um, haven't been to Skid Row because of the coronavirus. It's um been kind of difficult to get down there but these are just samples that I make their bags out of I have laundry soap I have all kinds of stuff in here like shampoo conditioners things like that so um, that's what this is for these were just donated um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them but they're little hair clips we could see that really pretty um, they have these and I got a bunch of them and then I also got a bunch of sunglasses as well men's sunglasses so I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that. So that's what these bags are. Um, over here is like my candle section slash gifting section. So down here are 
popcorn bags because we do have a popcorn maker at the toy drive so every kid gets a fresh bag of popcorn so i always buy these at dollar tree when i can find them so there's like a hundred like maybe 300 bags here have some christmas stuff still some of those lucky brand pens that um we i hauled from the 99 oh in here are just uh notebooks like uh three wing um i'm sorry composition books notebooks things like that that's for the back to school drive I do have some extra backpacks here and then in here is halloween halloween and valentine's day um every year i do donate a this box of halloween stuff to a church that does like um trick-or-treating at the church so they don't have to go it's not a safe area so i always donate every year for that um, right here is my candle section so these are all the candles that I use for gift baskets um, if they're metal I usually put them in your guys's giveaway um, let's see some more backpacks there and then these were actually donated so I'll be adding these to a bunch of giveaways I got a ton of them and a lot of them I've been putting in the blessing bags these are the ones I kept for you guys um, some more candles for you know gifts and stuff now this is my bath and body work section where i pull for your guys's giveaway so i have like a bunch of different aromatherapy so every time i have a giveaway i always like to add bath and body work stuff for you guys because i know you guys really enjoy it so that's all bath and body work and victoria's secret is mixed in there as well you can see that um let's see victoria's secret stuff like that so running low like usually we'd have a sale and i'd restock but right now we can't really shop um, these I just picked up and they were super cheap, but they um, retail for like $8.99 a piece. So I picked up a few for your guys' giveaways and stuff. I have some miscellaneous stuff there. Here's the rest of the back of what you guys just saw, the brushes and stuff. So you guys can see that. So I do have quite a bit of stuff to like go through and pull for the next giveaway. Um, up here is basically cups. So I have like Disney piggy banks. I have Hello Kitty cups. I have different cups back here. Um, and there's cups in there and cups in there. I mean, they're just cups. I just, I don't feel like pulling them out. But they're different types of mugs and stuff to use for charity gift baskets and stuff. These are those things that my husband wanted really bad. And look, look where they're at. Yeah. Up there are blankets. This all kinds of different blankets from Halloween and whatever I can find on clearance. Um, that's my husband's miscellaneous paperwork. And then I have some Christmas decor that I didn't use um, last year. So I'll try to use it this year. So we're going to the other side, which has all of my perfume sets. So I gotta make my Mother's Day gifts and I put these up here temporarily. Um, so these are all perfume sets that I picked up at um, I want to say it's Walgreens and Rite Aid. These are all those Funko things. So I have a bunch of those. I might put those in a giveaway. Um, in here, guys, is all of the mantra bands that were donated. So they donated quite a bit of mantra bands for you guys for um, my speaking engagements. I haven't had any speaking engagements, so I've been giving a bunch away to you guys. So that's what that is, mantra bands. Over here is more um, adult coloring books. Just basically adult coloring books for you guys' this giveaway I gave up. I had a ton of adult coloring books and I donated a bunch of them to hospitals and things like that. Um, these are like daily planners. They're just a little bit too bulky and big. I really like this because it has the dividers and everything in it. So I'll probably use that for the next coupon kit. Um, more adult coloring books that I like to add to your guys' giveaway. But I had boxes of these and I donated at least two or three boxes. Um, in here are more notebooks and these I totally forgot about so I'll probably do something with this and a giveaway for you guys I really really like these and one of my favorites and I got these at Walgreens thought they were really pretty it's a clutch notebook just some other miscellaneous notebooks mostly from Target I pull for you guys's like coupon kits and stuff like that so I have some notebooks that I keep for myself of course Star Wars and then Marilyn She's one of my favorite. I do have a signed Hank Aaron um, baseball that I'll be raffling off this year. I did the uh, base uh, had when I had baseball bats and I raffled all those off last year. These are all perfumes and colognes for charity gift baskets. So and I have these for bows for that. And then back here is more perfume. I have a ton of perfume that I need to, hopefully we'll get started again and I can have these raffle gifts made and gone. So 
tons of perfume. I have men's perfume. These are all the stickers that I constantly forget to add to your guys' giveaway. So I'm going to try my very best to um, start adding these to giveaways because I have a ton of stickers for you guys. So yeah, and then some a couple lunch boxes. Um, in here are blankets that I got at CVS. Figure I'll use them Christmas time for gifts. Down here is um, these are like uh, socks and <laughs> and um, gloves. A small blanket, mostly socks for like miscellaneous. Um, back here I have more perfume sets. Um, let's see. A lot of the Walgreens brand so this one is um, simple pleasures so I have that one I have that one I have these projection alarm clocks I figured the seniors might like those I'm just gonna move those back here for right now and I have a ton of these um, really pretty um, Bailey's and Harding's with the socks and the lotion I didn't even know I had those actually have three of those so I might do something with that these are my favorite I was debating what to do with these for a giveaway I really really like them. I think they're super pretty so these are the Bailey's and Hardy's and I love the little clutch it came with and it has the lotion um, and these perfume as well as the little clutch really like that and then these are some Yankee candles that I'll be using for Christmas this year and I think they're really nice and I got those on clearance at Walgreens so that's everything there down here is more back to school stuff and this is super heavy like okay super guys heavy. so what is in here is a bunch of like um composition books notebooks and um three wing binders um, not binders spiral notebooks things like that are in here so that's everything in there and then in here is like stuff for the goodie bags for the toy drive so I have a bunch of like um basically stuff from the 99 cent only store a bunch of like little uh, figurines and things like that so that's everything that's in here and I'll be using that um, this year so that is pretty much my whole section guys we just went over the whole section I know this video is gonna be really long um, I want to show you guys my desk area is like my coupon book and then these are things for the grandkids so when I haul stuff and I say these are for the grandkids I, re I send them off a box once this gets full so this is like stuff that um, I've hauled for them but I have not sent it that's actually for sway to the 99 um, he's a fellow youtuber and um, I got this for him it's the handy sh handy chopper so dollar 49 so I picked this up from him and it's from sharper image I found that and I was really excited this is friend mail that I have not hauled yet guys so that's friend mail I've opened it and I've sent them thank you cards and letters and things like that. I just not have not hauled it and showed you guys. These are all my receipt books for my foundation for my nonprofit. So started my nonprofit in 2016. Let's see. I don't have a twin. Oh yeah, my 2016 is back here. It's this little thin one. And then we did 2017. 2018 look at 2019's two books and then 2020 I'm going to need two books as well so I've literally tripled since I started YouTube so that's super exciting my nonprofit is growing um, over here is where you guys see me film so this is like my little area that is the coupon kit that I'm giving away um, I always give away one every single month this is where I put my dogs potty pads um, just some little decor this is actually my husband's this is where you sort guys so let's show you guys my parting gift um let's see if i can get the better view on this but that is the launch platform and if you can see there's a rocket on there i don't know if you guys can see that but there's a rocket and they would they would go out to the middle of the um, ocean to the equator and we would launch that rocket from sea to space so yeah that was my parting gift um some little decor here over here is um, I want a, a subscriber one of my really good friends she pr um, sent me these for Christmas aren't they pretty me and my husband um, and I love having stuff that's imp inspirational to me down here is be somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody one of my amazing subscriber um, Lisa she made that for me and I have my Kleenex my lotion now this is the top of my desk. Um, the Duran family actually sent me this. Kasha and Melissa at work. 
Um, of course, I have all my Star Wars stuff. Sway to the 99 sent me all those uh, lip, uh, lip balms, and then I don't use them because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Another one of my subscribers sent me the Darth Vader's. Um, kindness is always free. You guys see this stuff in the back when I film. And then, of course, my little Star Wars section. And the subscriber actually sent me the C-3PO and R2-D2. And Sway, where's Sway's? I bought that at the 99, and then Sway to the 99 actually sent me this. But I don't drink coffee, so, and then I don't want to use it because it's, I don't want to break it. So, yeah. And then Kimmy Kim sent me that. And then I keep these feathers to make dream catchers at a later time. I need way more feathers than that, but yeah. And then, you know, this is basically where I film. That's my lighting. That's what I use for either my um, GoPro or for my phone, whichever I'm going to film with. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much my area. Um, in here, I do have my printer. And then I'm just showing you guys. In here, I have, um, these are actually from Istanbul. They're prayer beads. They were blessed. So have those have like, you know, credit card in there in case I need to order something. This is all of my stuff in here. Thank you letters, things like that, paper. And then this is basically my files that I use to like send you guys labels and letters and things like that. That all goes in here. And then that bottom drawer is Maddie and Penny's paperwork. So yeah, that's pretty much my desk okay, so area. This is basically my stock pile tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I know I have a lot of stuff to go over, but like I said, I do run a nonprofit. So basically 98% of the stuff you guys see is going to be either donated or it's going to be used some sort of way. I do have a toy drive and I have a back to school drive. And if you guys follow me on Instagram or you follow my YouTube channel, you know, I do quite a bit with um, my charity and extreme couponing. So I hope you guys are having a fabulous blessed day thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and remember if you like these videos please remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode and i i'll be talking to you guys real soon thank you so much for watching bye